Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., all rights reserved. You're listening to the smartest man in talk radio. You're going to be listening to one of the smartest people that you probably... And you know who this guy is. <laughs> it's me. He's Jim Blassingame. I am smart. I am smart. S-M-R-T. I mean S-M-A-R-T. The Small Business Advocate. Welcome back, 34 After. Thank you very much for joining me. Thanks for hanging out with me. I'm Jim Blassingame, and I'm glad you're here. Tim Berry is here, too. I'm glad he's here. Tim is an original member of our Brain Trust, the founder of Palo Alto Software, the author of the tw- what I consider to be the, the, uh, the absolute Bible on 21st century business planning, the plan-as-you-go business plan. And he's our good friend, Tim Berry. Welcome back to the show. Hey, thanks, Jim. Very, very happy to be back with you. Yeah, and congratulations on um, the, uh, the the being the MC in New Orleans. Oh yeah, well that's, I appreciate that. That's just a little little gig I'm doing down here in New Orleans. As I told you earlier, folks, I'm broadcasting here from the ECSB Summit, the uh, uh, Executive Conference on Small Business Summit. He said, uh, Tim, um, one of the things that I learned how to do early on, long before I ever became a business owner. The companies I worked for, Sears and Xerox, but especially Xerox, they taught us you you didn't you didn't last long with those companies if you weren't able to forecast sales. If you weren't able to, they they gave you the 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 the, 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 the me- mechanism, the tools, the perspectives, the formulas. They explained how the how and the why that that you need to do sales forecasting, and I. In those days, I learned the concept of a business pipeline, and uh, and how to how to build it, and how to f- how to feed it, and how to know when you know when you need to you know when you need to turn you need to add supply and, and take off you know take off inventory at the other, on the other end, and and you, this is something you've been working a lot on uh, over the years, especially lately. Talk to us about 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 the concept of of realistic sales forecasting. Yes, yes, and. Uh, it's interesting when uh, I think what we miss sometimes, Jim, in talking about the realistic sales forecast is why in small business we do that. And, and I think that's a good thing to point out. This is not an academic exercise in guessing the future as accurately as you can. This, in my opinion, is vital for effective management for optimizing the management of your own company, whether it's one person solopreneur or five or 50 or 500 or whatever, sales forecast is really part of normal good management. And I'm sure well, you agree and, with and, that. and it serves many, many levels of the company, doesn't it? I mean, this is... This Absolutely. is the this is this is the lifeblood of your company. Sale, the sales revenue is the it's the it's the blood of your company, and and you've got to keep it pumping through those veins, don't you? Yeah, it's like a dashboard. If I mean the way I envision it, and I mean it's not like I haven't been running a company for twenty five years. I, I know what goes on. I know how hard it is to forecast. But if you don't have a forecast. You're you're in the the uh, the pilot's cabin of the of a ship with with the windows painted black, so you can't see what's going on. Because it's it's not that the forecast is right, but it's that if you have the forecast, the forecast then is key to what you're projecting for costs, direct costs, and for overhead and expenses too, like your advertising. Mm-hmm. So as sales, real sales go along to the extent that they're different from what you forecast, that's a trigger for what else you need to change to keep this business steering, like to keep the ship yep. on course and healthy. Well, it tells you it tells you so many things. If you're doing a good job of forecasting, it's telling you how your how effective your sales effort is, as you said, your marketing effort. 
It tells you how, how effective your, your people are at closing, at qualifying prospects, getting people to act, you know, turning suspects into prospects and prospects into customers. It, it, you know, I don't see how you can, you, you can't effectively plan your cash requirements without effective sales forecasting. That's something you and I've talked a lot about over the years is the, is the impact of cash management on, on a small business. We're all undercapitalized. That means every, every penny of cash we can get our hands on is precious. And, and so and you know, you've got to – go ahead, Tim. Well, uh, right on that point, and there again, I, um, before we talk about well, how to forecast well, is making this critical point that so many things hang on the sales forecast that you, you can't manage cash without watching where your sales are compared to the budget and the forecast right. you made. Absolutely. Hold on to that thought, Tim. We're going to come back, folks, when we come back after these messages. Tim's going to going to go down the de- going to go through some of the details of how to do this. How do you actually pull off this sales forecasting thing? Right after these messages, twenty tell. I'm Jim Blasting Gabe. Stay with me. Insperity presents the Small Business Advocate Show with Jim Blassingame, brought to you by FedEx, CareerBuilder.com, and Palo Alto Software. This is a copyrighted production of Small Business Network, Inc., intended for the private use of our audience. Except as otherwise provided by copyright law, all other copying, redistribution, or publication without prior written consent is prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited. All rights reserved. Prohibited.